Okay, so now we're going to do workshop L, where we build the water wheel crane. And you're going to need lots of pieces, so it's probably a good idea to just get them out from the beginning. And we're going to start with image A. And in image A, you're going to need a base plate, a large frame, and you're going to stick the large frame right onto the base plate, right here in the corner, like this. Then you're going to stick two anchor pins on the end holes up here. Then you're going to take a long axle and with the stop on your left side, you're going to send it through the third hole from the top. So you're going to leave two holes empty. Send it through the third hole. Then you're going to leave three holes empty and take a small axle. And with the stop on the left side again, you're going to send it through. Then you're going to take another long axle, and again with the stop on the left side, you're going to send it through, leaving three holes empty again. So this bottom long axle should be in the fourth hole, one, two, three, four, from the bottom. So that's image A, and now we're going to move on to image B. And in image B, you're going to take a medium yellow gear, and you're going to stick the eight shovel blades into it. So you're going to use these indentations in the shovel blades to just stick them right on. And you might have to play with them a little where you put them, but basically you just want them in a place where they will stay. Alright, and once you have them all in there, you're going to need another medium gear. And now we're ready to move on to image C. So in image C, you're going to take a large yellow gear and stick it onto this small axle right here in the middle. Then you're going to stick a washer onto this long axle and put two small gears onto it. One and two. So these two should mesh. And then you're going to make a shovel blade sandwich. You're going to stick the other medium gear onto this and you want to make sure when you put these together that the holes line up with each other because you're ultimately going to be putting this onto an axle. So you want to make sure that both sides mirror each other so you can stick the axle through the opening. So you might want to turn it upside down and you want to get the shovel blades into the other medium gear. And then you're going to need a small yellow gear. So now we're ready to move on to image D. And in image D, you're going to stick a small pulley wheel onto this long axle and another small pulley wheel. And then you're going to wrap some of the cord around right in between. So the best way to do that is to just tie the end on and then just turn it and let it wrap around a little bit. And then you're going to stick this piece onto this long axle and you want to be very careful because it's very fragile. Okay, and then you want to stick a small gear on this end and a washer. Then you're going to take a large frame and you're going to lay it down here and on these top holes right here you're going to stick two anchor pins. So now we're ready to move on to image E and in image E you're going to stick this large frame onto the other side of the base and stick this long axle into the opposite hole. So it's the fourth hole. In the fourth hole you're going to Stick this right in and then stick this into the base plate. And similarly, you're going to let this long axle go through the opposite hole in the other large frame. And then you're going to add a small pulley wheel. So now we're going to move on to image F. And in image F, you're going to turn your setup to this side and you're going to take a small frame and you're going to stick two anchor pins in it right here at the bottom on either side of the middle hole from the bottom like this. 